I think it's amazing. What do you like about it? Well, it's really little. I don't know how it's really done. It's absolutely amazing. Everyone should come and see this. It's amazing. You can't believe it until you actually see it for yourself. It's really, really good. Until you see it in front of your own eyes, um, it is hard to believe. I can produce the smallest microscopic work on Earth. We disregard the small things in life. We don't believe that, that anything exists as, unless it's large. But, you know, I'm going to change that. I'm going to let people realise that small is beautiful. Willard has now started to carve smaller and smaller miniatures like this one. Get this. That's my camera. This is, in fact, the Statue of Liberty, but it's been carved into the eye of a my needle. Word. And the Statue of Liberty have, in fact, asked to borrow it for display in the USA. You would, wouldn't you? Over here, it's nesting on an eyelash, no less. Sure, and the detail is so fantastic that they've actually managed to put three eggs in there. <gasps> Willard must have a steady hand, that's all I can say. And finally, it gets better, everyone. This is a mermaid on a grain what? of sand. Classic. A grain of sand. That is just amazing, isn't, isn't it? it? I can't believe oh. it. Well, it is unbelievable. Willard yeah. spent about three months on the mermaid, and he mainly works late at night as there are much fewer distractions and elements in the air, like house dust, which can affect his work. It's not uncommon for him to work all through the night on his miniatures and not to go to bed at all. He's a dedicated man. And by working at night, there's less static electricity and traffic vibrations, which can also cause damage to his work. Now, Willard works for hours on end with a magnifying glass and with his naked eye, and he uses a carving tool, which has been made for him by a British company, which usually makes precision surgical implements for hospitals. What I usually do is I hold my hands yeah. mm. as steady as I can, I hold my breath and uh, I'll demonstrate something to yeah, you just to show how steady my hands are. Yeah. Um, there's a gap between my fingers there yes. and I'll take that gap so small and I'll sort of hold it there without it touching. Jeez. And I'm so steady. And I'm holding that gap there and my hands are in an awkward position and I'm still doing it and talking yeah. while I'm doing it. So you've basically, since the age of five, what you've done is you've, you've increasingly hardwired your brain to have ultimate control. This type of work, it, it, what it requires is control of your whole nervous system. Right. Um, I have to make sure that when I work, I have to go off to a quiet retreat in Jersey cause I, where there's no vibration of traffic or anything. Um, you really do do that, and it's not a joke. You really do. This is serious. Yeah. This type of work here, right? Scientists are shocked by my work. People say that's impossible. Sorry, but that man is a genius. Look at what anyone says.